my name is Andrew and I'm the unit coordinator for EMVT3361 Environmental Assessment. So this is just a short video to introduce you to the unit. So as part of the, this welcome video, we're just going to have a look at a few of the things um, that help you get around the information available for the unit. So first of all, the, uh, the LMS page looks something like this and all the information is in the usual places and one of the things that you'll want to do is have a look at the unit outline because that's got information about assignment so pretty important and um, so I actually have this open in the other tab you might have seen so unit outline and assessment is not too far down the track this section here. So you've got some short assignments which are really based on the the labs and the individual assignments and they're worth 20% of the unit in total. There should be four of those. One of those is actually a quiz uh, which is quite early in the piece. Uh, we will do some group work in ENVT3361. So you will be assigned to groups. I need to do that to balance numbers and get people in the right place depending on your class allocations and so on. Um, so your group work will involve submission of a number of group assignments and they're collectively worth 30% of the mark. Uh, and then there will be an individual report based on the class project. So more on the class project. Uh, right now. So the class project will be based at the Ashfield Flats Reserve, which is in Ashfield, kind of in the Bassendine area. I'll just zoom back a little bit. So along the Swan River, uh, upstream, obviously, from UWA, and the reserve is this part here. So if I zoom back in and show you the satellite view, we can see some of the salient features of the site. So there are a number of wetland ponds across the reserve, particularly on the western side. And on the eastern part, the Ashfield Flats, it's been used for agriculture back in the day. And uh, currently also has, if we zoom in a little bit more, you can see them better, a couple of stormwater main drains coming through. So we've got uh, the Chapman Street main drain coming in from the northeast uh, and from the northwest, the Kitchener Road main drain and so there's potential for bringing in material including contamination nutrients and things like that into the wetland systems uh, and also for the wetland systems actually to contribute to the quality in the drains so it's a good site to go to we can sample water and sediment and soils here uh, we may even have a go at sampling street dust in the more industrial part of the catchment. So in particularly the uh, Chapman Street main drains catchment actually comes round into this industrial area across the railway, which is not too far away. And some of the streets here will have drains that contribute. And so we can have a look at that too. Now, of course, taking samples and doing analysis on them later on, which is what you'll do in the lab, just flicking back to the page. So we've got two types of lab in 3361 where we do sample analysis um, and some other labs where we do data analysis. So what, what I want to do is just to mention that we are going to be first up with our practical classes on Monday and Tuesday using the R Studio environment. And some of you will be familiar with this, some of you won't. Uh, to do statistical analysis. So R is a statistical computing environment that does a lot more than that. And we will be learning exploratory data analysis using some not too hard statistical techniques and graphical analysis and maps and um, a bit of number crunching as well, just to help you make sense of a typical data set and there'll be lots of help with this we have some excellent tutors who will be uh, on board to help you with this and get you up to speed using R which is for your professional development something that's going to be really useful. So that's the introduction. Um, doing a class project and learning statistics and doing other labs as well 
is a challenging thing to do, but I think you'll find it really rewarding. We generate our own data and we analyze them ourselves. So it's something you have a lot of ownership of and a lot of dedication to potentially. Uh, and we have fun as a class. It's always a, a good experience, even though it might be difficult at the beginning. So I'm really looking forward to working with you all and um, see you on Monday, at least half of you anyway, uh, because of the way we split the classes. All right, see you.